Hi guys, thank you for joining me. This time of year, a lot of fires start in homes because of space heaters either malfunctioning or not being used properly. Yesterday in the Bronx, New York apartment building, 19 people died, including nine children. After what the fire commissioner says started from a malfunctioned space heater. The fire started in an apartment unit spanning two floors, the second and third floor of a 19-story building. For some reason, which is still being investigated, the door to the apartment was allowed to be left open, allowing the thick black smoke to spread quickly throughout the building. Some of the residents trapped in their apartments broke windows for air and stuffed wet towels under their doors. One of the residents of the building said that fire alarms often went off and was always a false alarm and tended to ignore them. Dozens of people are still in the hospital, many of them either from smoke inhalation or from heart attacks. Here's an image of the building. Low-income housing is what this building was used for. Uh, many of the residents are from the West African nation of Gambia. I seem to remember a fire possibly in New York um, years ago where the same thing happened. The door to the apartment that was on fire, the door was left open and the escape route, the stairwell, quickly filled with smoke and people were overcome and died. Many of the residents didn't worry until they got text alerts on their cell phones saying that there was a fire in the building. The 120-unit um, apartment complex was built in 1973, part of a project to build modern, affordable housing there in the Bronx. The fire I was thinking of evidently happened in 2017. That fire, 13 people died in an apartment building also in the Bronx. Because of that fire, new state laws were put in that required that all doors to all apartments have self-closing doors automatically close on their own. So now they're investigating if they had those types of um, devices on the door and if the, it was working properly. Because evidently this apartment door was left open allowing all the smoke to go throughout the entire building. As of right now, 44 people were injured and 13 of those in critical condition. Many of the people broke out the windows trying to get air and there was images of people being rescued and children being brought down the ladders. This one here is of a baby that was rescued. Tanisha Ash took videos of the children being rescued. Evidently 40% of all home fires, 40% are started by space heaters. You're not supposed to run space heaters when you're sleeping at night. You're supposed to have at least three feet of space between furniture or clothing, anything combustible. They're supposed to be level and on hard, non-flammable surfaces. Well, non-flammable surfaces are often hard when, you know, everything's carpeted nowadays. For young children, you probably shouldn't even have a space heater in their bedroom. Because often they toss extra pillows or stuffies off their beds and they could land up, you know, against the heaters. But if they are turned off at night when people are sleeping, that's probably the best thing to do. Sending prayers. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, send those prayers to those poor people. What are your thoughts? Please put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all.